Uh, question six. Sketch on a single Argand diagram, the loci given by these two expressions here. Right, um, well, remember what we talked about with this. First thing to do, before you do anything else, before you even think anything else, is to rewrite that to get it in the form that we want it to be. So that is z minus root 3 plus i. That is so important that we do that so that we get our point established straight away without any messing around. Great, so that's a good start. Um, so what this means is that we are looking for a circle centre root 3 plus i radius 2. Um, so let me draw a circle and see if we can put it in the right place. You know, how do I draw the circle? I can't remember. Oh, why is it done that? Oh, no. It's a beautiful circle, but, um, oh, I've just cloned it. One minute. Can I change the colour of it? Um, properties? Aha. Oh. There. Great. Right. Now, there's something wrong with my circle. Remember, the centre, I haven't, I haven't drawn it yet, I've just drawn something that might end up being my circle. The centre is going to be at the point root 3i. Now root 3 is 1.7ish, isn't it? So it's a little bit more that way than that way. So it's, it's about there, isn't it? Root 3 plus i. We've got to check this because it's such a common thing that happens. We've just got to make sure what is the length of the line from the origin to root 3i, root 3 plus i. That means that distance is 1 and that distance is root 3. Now a quick Pythagoras theorem check on that tells you that root 3 squared plus 1 squared is it's 4, so the square root of that would be 2. So that distance there is 2, which also happens to be the radius of our circle. So our circle has to have that centre and go through the origin. And there will be a mark for it going through the origin. Now, the reason I say we have to check this, it is so common that when you're asked to draw a circle, the circle goes through the origin, then actually it ought to be just inbuilt. It ought to be something that you always check to make sure whether the circle goes through the origin, to make sure that you draw it in the right place. That's how they're going to know they've drawn it in the right radius, but they will be looking for it going through the origin. Really, really important. I wish I'd drawn my diagonal a little bit bigger. Um, the other thing is the argument of z has got to be pi by 6. By hand, let's check this out. Let's make sure there's not any link here. Um, pi by 6 is 30 degrees, isn't it? And the sine of 30 is one of those ones that pops into your head instantly. Or maybe it doesn't. Sine of 30 is... That was a guess, wasn't it? It's a half. That's the other one. So cos of 30 is root 3 2. And sine of 30 is a half. Look at this little triangle that we drew. Opposite over hypotenuse is a half. Adjacent over hypotenuse is root 3 over 2. That angle in there is pi by 6. So the whole thing is linked together. And so when we come to draw our line, it's going to be that line. That's, that's nicely drawn, isn't it? So it's going to go from the origin, because our point here is the origin, at an angle of pi by 6. And the whole question was linked together, so it's not enough just to draw some circle that's about right 
and then just to draw a line that you reckon is about 30 degrees, pi by 6. The whole question is linked together. You've got to get your circle going through the origin and your line going through the centre of the circle. That's quite mean, isn't it, to, to bring it all together? But it happens so often that it's going to be the first thing you look out for to make sure that you've, you've got that covered. There we go. And that would be that would be six marks for what we just did. Which question was it? Six. There we go. And they gave the marks for one mark for the circle, one mark for the centre being at root three one. We've got that. One mark through passing through the origin. One mark for a line with correct slope shown. One mark for a half line starting at the origin. And then um, the final mark, the sixth mark, was for a completely correct diagram for both loci. Right, are we happy? Great. And that's maths. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to do that.